Hey guys, Patton here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to mod your mini system with a program called HackGCE. This video is going to cover the NES Classic, SNES Classic, and Genesis Minis. At the time of this video, the TurboGrafx-16 Mini and Genesis Mini 2 are not compatible with HackGCE. The team is still working on it, and when it is ready, I'll release updated videos to include those systems. The same goes with the PlayStation Classic. I'm going to release a bunch of videos showing you how to do different things for that system. Also, I cannot provide you links to any ROMs. You will have to find those on your own. For the first step, you want to go up to the Kernel tab and go to Install Repair. You'll get a pop-up asking if you want to flash the custom kernel. Click Yes. The instructions here are mostly for the Sega Genesis Mini, and as it says at the bottom, the cable included with the Genesis Mini does not work. If you're looking for a cable, I have one linked in my description. I've been using this one for a long time. It works perfectly. For the NES and SNES Classic, you want to plug in one side of your cable to your PC and the other into your system. Hold down the reset button and power on. The custom kernel will start to be uploaded onto your system and install HackGee. This will take a couple minutes and you'll hear your computer chime a few times during this process, but once it's complete, you should see this on your computer where it says done. You can upload games to your mini now. Click OK, and in the bottom left corner, if you see this green dot, you're good to go. The Genesis Mini, unfortunately, is a little more complicated to get modded. And again, the steps say here you need a specific cable to get that working. The one that comes with the system does not work. For the Genesis Mini, you want to turn the power to the on position. Hold reset on your system and then plug the cord into your mini. You'll hear a chime from your computer and that's gonna be your signal to let go of reset. You'll notice the list of games changed after I installed HackGee. That's because the program automatically recognizes which system you have connected to your PC. So whether you're on the SNES, Nintendo, or Genesis, those games will always pop up if you have that system connected. You don't need to have multiple instances of HackGCE on your computer, only one is fine and you can use that one program for all your systems. Also, once you have installed HackGee on your system, you don't have to do it again. All you have to do is connect your system to your PC, power it on, and it'll connect automatically. If you're having issues getting this working, you can go up to the Help tab and go to the Rockin' the Classics Discord server or subreddit and you can get help there. When you're ready to add more games to your system, if you're adding the same game as a system that you're using, so if I want to add Super Nintendo games to my Super Nintendo Classic, it's pretty easy. You have a couple options. You can hit the Add More Games button down here and then navigate to your folder where you keep your ROMs. Go to File, Add More Games, Auto Detect, and once again, navigate to that folder. Or you can use my preferred method of just dragging and dropping into the system itself. You can see that the two games that we added here automatically have the artwork added as well as the spine if you're using the Genesis Mini as well as a description. Hackchi only auto-generates these for Genesis, Nintendo, and Super Nintendo games. Once you have your games added, all you have to do is hit the Synchronize Selected Games with Mini button down at the bottom. And once the done message appears once again, you are all set. Here's a brief overview of how to add games not native to your system. So this is the Super Nintendo Classic that we have connected right now, and we have two NES games we want to add. For games not native to the system, go to the Modules tab and go to the KMFD Mod Hub. Go to the KMFD RetroArch tab and select your version of RetroArch. I prefer Ozone. Click Download Module. Next, go to the KMFD Cores tab. Over on the left side, KMFD Manic has a ton of system cores he has added to HackG. Scroll through until you find the core you're looking for for your system. Here we are with Nintendo NES. I'm going to select FCEU MM Extreme and once again, download module. You can close out of the Mod Hub, go back to the Modules tab, and install extra modules. On the left side of the screen here, you can see the modules that we just downloaded. We're going to put a check mark next to RetroArch and FCEU MM Extreme. Then we click OK at the bottom. Once you get the done message, click OK. To add our games, we do the same thing. Just drag them into the system. Once we take a look at our NES games, once again, we have the box art automatically added and a description. Don't forget to hit the synchronize selected games with mini button every time you add new games into HackG. 
So those are the basic steps on adding both native and new games to your system. I'm going to have a bunch of videos coming up that show you how to install various system mods and how to add different games from other systems to include handhelds, other consoles, and even arcade games. I'll have a handy playlist in my description where you can access all that information. A couple useful settings to take a look at. If you go to the view tab, you can change how your games on the left appear. You can choose where you want your original games to appear, either at the top, the bottom, sorted with your other games, or you can hide them. You can choose to sort your games by name, core, or console, or if you add a large batch of games and you can't remember which ones you got box art for, you can click the group games without box art tab. You can see at the bottom here how many games we have total on the system, as well as how much space we're using, and how much space is available on the mini. For any games that you add, this number will go up. For any mods or system cores you add, this number will go down. You can get around that by using external storage, which I will go over in a future video. Let's head over to the Super Nintendo Classic and take a look at the new games we just added. As you can see, all the games we added are right here. We have Aerial Fighters, Air Fortress, Art of Fighting, and Bad Dudes. So any games you add to your system also allow you to have the backgrounds included. I'm going to go back to the menu by holding down and select on my controller. Let's open up one of our Nintendo games. So because this is running with Retroarch, you do not get the borders included with this, but you can get them added by going through the Retroarch options. But as you can see, this game is running just fine as well. No problems. And just like the Super Nintendo games, if you hold down and select, you can use save states as well. And there you have it. Those are the basic steps to get you started with hacking your mini. Remember, if you need any help with any of this, head to the Rock and the Classics Discord or subreddit and you can get assistance there. And that's it for me. As always, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time.